Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the Farm. Today we're going to take a break from the shop and we're going to fix another issue that we've been having. Uh, my dad had this great idea of building the barn door using garage door track. I don't know if you guys can see that with the light, but there's garage door track hanging up in there. And uh, to be honest with you, it was a crappy idea because garage door track doesn't have any way to lock the rollers in there. You know, it's, it's beveled on the one side, but it's flat on the other. And so the rollers pop out quite easily. And uh, they knock this door down all the time. And the door is just getting busted to hell. You know, when we let the sheep out, they all want to go out through the small hole all at once. And they, they bash against the door. And uh, it just pops it right out of this track. And so we're putting the actual barn door track up here. I finally convinced Dad to spend a little bit of money and do that. And so... Uh, I'm going to be installing that today. So we'll kind of keep you in tune during the process, give you some pointers, and uh, let's see what we can do. All right, guys, uh, here's the first step in building this door. And uh, normally, I guess, I would want to do this part when it's on the building. I would put this wood header up first, and then I would put the track on top of it. The problem is with our specific application that the door track is gonna to have to be jammed almost all the way up against the eave. And so there won't be room to get in there to put these screws in once the, uh, the header is mounted up there. So it's gonna suck, it's gonna be a little bit heavier than it would be otherwise. But uh, this is just the way we're gonna to have to do it in order to get it up high enough for our door. So <clears throat> I got two eight foot chunks here and uh, it's a 16 foot door, so I'm using double that in track because you have to have the track where the door hangs as well as the track where the door is gonna slide when it's open. And so I'm gonna secure the track down to this board here and then uh, we'll have to um, get our second board measured up. And then uh, you wanna leave, at least on, uh, I would say probably on both sides, you wanna leave some board at the end because then what we'll do once we got the door up is we'll come in with a piece of two by four or something and just screw it on right here. And what that does is it stops the door from being able to roll out of the track uh, when it gets to the end of the track. I mean, you could put anything in here, I guess, but that's just the way that I've seen it done before and it seems like a pretty easy way to do it. Uh, we don't have to worry about putting tin or anything on this because it's gonna be under the eave, so we don't have to worry about the paddles or nothing, but uh, I'll get this fixed on there and then we'll get the, the two pieces put together and uh, then figure out how the heck I'm going to get it moved over to the barn. Alright guys, we got the track fully mounted to the board and as you can see I grabbed a handful of lag bolts here. Uh, they're all kinds of mix, max, mix, mix matched sizes and uh, you know they're probably smaller than I would like to use but uh, I think I got enough of them to where it's going to be alright. But uh, you can see I took a one inch spade bit and uh, drilled holes in everywhere where I'm going to put one because the head of the bolt, I don't want it sticking out and catching on the door. And so I countersunk all those holes. Plus it'll make it easier to get that lag bolt started because there's already a hole in the center there. So our next step is going to be to go back to the barn and uh, get the old track off and then uh, get the old rollers off of the door and do what we need to do to fix the door. And then uh, we'll get this track put up and First go thing there. we're gonna wanna do is get this old track down. Hopefully I got the right size socket for it. I'm guessing it's either a 7 16 or a half inch lag bolt that he used to put that up there. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach it from the ground either. So we'll have to go track down a hey ladder. Let's try this life. again. It's not going to be fun to get to these, I don't think. It would be helpful if I had a decent step ladder, but the old wooden ones are just in tough shape. So it looks like these are half inch, which is good because if any of them are long enough, I'll replace. I had two of them that I had to use smaller ones on on the new rail. So 
So if these are long enough, we'll switch them out and it looks like they might be I gotta hand it to the old man. He's pretty good about figuring out cheap ways to do things. But, uh, you know, sometimes the cheap ways just aren't the right ways. And uh, we've got a door that's built this same way over on the other side of the shed for uh, hay storage. And for the hay storage, it's no big deal. It works great because, well, for one, it's the door is half the size and for two you don't have anything pushing on it like with these you got the sheep pushing on them all the time and it just doesn't work But we'll be able to hang on to the track and the rollers and maybe make a maybe make a door somewhere else out of the same supplies if we ever need to. So we just gotta make sure it's a smaller door than that we're not fighting critters. Okay, so it got a little too dark for me to finish this video the day that we were working on it. And uh, basically I wanted to get the door done more than I wanted to get the video up. But uh, the rest of the process after the track is mounted is pretty straightforward. As you can see here, I had to put a two by four spacer underneath it because it was uneven between where we were putting it and what was already there. And uh, so I put that spacer in there and then it was just as simple as two, another person to ha help me lift it up. And then I just lag bolted it right to the existing header. And uh, then all we had to do was uh, you have to drill a hole it's, let's just pretend that this is the top board. You have to drill a hole through it and then you put the roller through it and put a nut on the back side. You can see that roller right there. And uh, then you put a piece of wood here so you can't push the door too far past the track. Then I came over to this end and we lifted the door up and fed the rollers into the track. And then put a piece of board here on this end so that the door can't come off on this end. And uh, it was pretty simple. Like I said, it'd be a lot easier if that header was already up there. And then you just lifted the track up and screwed the track down, which is how it would normally be done. But since we're tied up in that eave like that, it uh, just doesn't work out that well. But uh, it's a really simple installation if you've never done it before. And uh, you can use it in a lot of different applications. But as you can see, the door rolls nice and smooth when it's not all caught up on manure. And it... Uh, definitely a lot better than uh, the way we, we used to do it and like I said you know the benefit of this is because those rollers have four wheels and they're actually sandwiched in between the track the door can't fall out at all and so even when the, the sheep are bumping up against it as they're running through there it can't fall out but uh, that's just a little video on how to put up door track and how we used it in this application so uh, Make sure you leave a like, share, subscribe, and check back for more.